story time. So, I wanted to tell you about some of the weird things I've seen happen at my job at Jiffy Lube. I've been working there for about eight months now. I'm going to tell you some of the more outlandish stories I've seen. So one day when this was when um, I was particularly, I think it was about my second month in uh, Jiffy Lube. But I really hope that camera does not fall off. You know, we heard all this commotion. Uh, it didn't sound like a car. Or at all, I mean. And then about that time where me and my boss, who was standing next to me, I were like, what is that? We see an old crappy car. I can't remember what kind of car it was, but you know what I'm talking about. Old rundown car, fenders beaten in, looks like it's 20 years old. Old. Uh, got some sort of rigging just to keep it together. But this car pulls around the building and uh, we can immediately tell it's smoking from under the hood. And not just a little bit of smoke, I mean a lot. Like, how the world has it gotten this far? But it pulls up and we're expecting, you know, like, I need you to figure out how to buy a smoke and all that. But no! So, she wanted to get an old change. What? What the fuck? And we kind of all looked at her weird. Like, are you serious? So, we didn't go up. My boss, like, tells her, hang on, let me look at what's under the hood first. So he looked, popped the hood, lifted it up and everything. She was leaking oil out of her head gasket. She was then getting on the motor, which was causing all that smoke to come up. And she had countless other problems as well. He goes in, tells her, um, so you know that she's leaking out the head gasket. And he tells her, like, you know the oil change is not gonna fix this, right? To which she replies, I know. So, that, which begs the question, how long has it been, and you know, leaking oil and all that, how long has she been driving this thing and it's been smoking, it's had all these other issues? So, and guess who was the unlucky son of a gun who had to drive it in? Me. So I drive it into the bay and it feels like it's about to fall apart. Like the slightest touch or twitch is going to just everything's gonna fall off. It's gonna be like a cartoon. We get into the bay, we do the old change to the best of our ability, of course. Or just considering what we had to deal with. So when we were done, I hopped in and get ready to pull it out. Now the exit to our bay is on a little bit of a slope. I hit the brakes and the car didn't stop. Kept going, and the guy who was guiding me out had to reach over and grab hold of the car to stop me. Otherwise, I was about to go into the street. And I'm pretty sure that car would not have protected me from getting T-boned. And the only way I could keep it from rolling down the hill was by applying the, the emergency brake. And then she, she um, paid and everything and she drove off with it. Uh, I have no idea if that thing's still driving today. I hope it isn't just for the safety of her and everyone around her. So that's the story of how we serviced a, well I'm sure it's a not street legal car and Jiffy Lube. Here's another story. So, one of our CSA, our customer service associate, um, his name is Tony. He's from Boston, so he has a little bit of an accent to him. So, a guy pulled up in a green F-150. Nothing out of the ordinary. It's another customer. He hops out. Tony greets him. And... The guy starts walking towards the door that's inside the bay that goes into the lobby. Now, we don't want customers walking to that, going through that door because of the um, slick surface of the bay. We have to have special shoes just to walk on that. Sir, it's not safe to go through that door. Um, let's go this way. 
and the guy absolutely loses it. I mean loses it. I have never seen someone so freaking upset over one little thing. All he was, all Tony was trying to do was tell him, hey, you don't want to go this way, you might fall and get hurt. And the guy lost it because he was being told what to do. And this guy starts going on a rant on, like, where, where are you from? I can barely understand you. And Tony says, Boston. And he says, oh, you're a, you're a Yankee. I'm just sitting there watching all this and wondering, like, what just happened? And this, this one baffled me even more. Tony tells him, by law, I cannot let you go on there. And then the guy responds with this, and I am not making this up. Oh, he listen to the laws. The laws are what ruin this country. I don't know if this guy was just big into anarchy or something. Uh, but he needed to take a chill pill. Because that was absolutely ridiculous. Our manager then comes out there and tries to calm him down. Um, which he does to a point, you know, the guy's talking crap about Tony, about him being a Yankee, and like, dang, dude, just chill out. So after the guy left, I, my manager tells me that, that that guy's been here before, and he's done the same thing. He's raised, he's gone and raised sand about something. They changed oil in his truck before, and then something completely irrelevant in his truck, irrelevant to the oil change, broke in it and he accused them of messing something up but yeah those are two stories of many stories by the way that I have a Jiffy Lube and the customers I encounter there so if you like this video like subscribe comment all that generic YouTube stuff and uh, I'll see you next time and this is Corey signing out later